this will be a quick one. So, starting up the really old toner bike for the project. There it is. Now, strip it down, make it pose, question mark, take measurements, and of course, draw the vision on an envelope. Time to make it real. So what's better than paper? Cardboard, of course. Now you can see it taking shape and a little better shape. But enough cardboard. I need something stronger to drive on. Enter the tank materials. Cutting the pieces from steel. And here I am cutting the opening for the side panel and with all the pieces cut soon enough you need to try them together with magnets magnets oh you're not quite done there yet come on faster some more cardboard for the side panel. Now, as I was using a toner from another century, the fork size was all wrong, very wrong, and required extending. Um, hey, what's that? An old pump with suitable tube. Let's cut it up for our needs. And also adjust the head tube a little bit too. Here you can see pieces cut and bearings fitted. Then some more magic fitting with magnets for the body parts to try things out. And so it was time to make this union more permanent with help from my brother and his welding tool. This of course is bad I like very much and I will spare you from the most of it. But not all. Enjoy! Results are in. Pretty, eh? Well, I think it's pretty. Don't argue with me, okay? Okay. Wait. What? That is wrong. This is a bike video. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? No? Oh. Back on track. Uh, now I had to try putting it together right away, of course. How could I not? And see how it holds itself together, how it feels, can I even move it with all this steel added? Well, you can see it doesn't seem to be falling apart. The part driving up this little ramp here. Nope, doesn't fall apart. It's so strong. The seat post felt a little flimsy. I welded some reinforcements onto it. Yep, I did it. Me. After seeing Brother Weld I had learned and a half. So now I decided to make 
rare disk break holder out of paper. Okay, it was just a design. I used steel. There it is. See? But now I knew how to weld. And here I go. Welding like a welder with bright green shirt. This is sped up, of course, in case you were wondering. I'm not actually moving this fast. There. You see? All welded up and nice. Oop, where did it go? Nope, not behind me. Moving on. Time to make it even prettier with some putty. See? Pretty. And prime up the pieces for paint job. I didn't want it to be solid color, but something more interesting. So I used plastic wrapping and a lot of it. The kind that used to package food, you know. Uh, it was some trial and a lot of error too. But hey, first time for everything. So, let's see how it turned out. Eh? Come on, faster. There it is. All black and patterny. Here's another side of it. And then the final color. Green, of course. Let's have a close up. I like it. little turn here uh, okay okay they got it it's pretty now there was a lot of wiring and electronics that we will not have time for so I will spare you from it oh and the lights they are not covered either but you know you have seen the most of it. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you liked it. Feel free to leave comment or ask question if you have some. Now, go outside and play, because it's summer. And if it's not, make something up and still go.